Hello everyone and welcome back to the Java programming course. This is lecture number five and today we're going to be doing intro to Java. Oops. Oops is also known as the full form is object oriented programming. So first of all, there are two types of programming. You can see they can be structured programming or they can be object oriented programming. So for structured programming, so methods are, we basically define some methods for the structure and they are the basic building blocks and the data part is uh, acts as a secondary role and it's just passed around it's not the main focus the main focuses are the main focus are the methods which you build in structures but in object oriented programming the data has the principal role so methods also belong to methods belong to data and they both work together so without the data the methods does not have any meaning so they together make up the object so an object of a class has both in data and method so what oop tries is, is it tries to model the real world so what are the advantages of object oriented programming so it is fast and easy to execute it provides a clear structure for the programs and it helps to keep the java code as a do not repeat yourself and makes the code easy to maintain modify and debug so by looking at the code you can if there's some error you can easily debug it so it also makes it possible to create full reusable applications with less code and shorter development time so we will be talking about objects so what are objects so objects basically are uh, an abstraction of your entities so just like your entities we have objects here so what are objects uh, so each object uh, just like an entity has some properties we can clearly define those properties so these properties can be identity state or behavior like here in this photo we have a chair so we can say that uh, what color is the chair we can say it is uh, it is pink in color then we can say uh, is it a wheelchair or a standing still chair we can say it has some wheels similarly we can say for this man we can say that this, this person is wearing a gray suit well, what is the behavior of this person this person is smiling so basically we are simulating some entities and we are we are assigning some attributes attributes are just properties so we are assigning some properties to that entity so object as stated earlier objects have some states so you can see uh, this traffic light can be red this is state this core could be broken this pen and pencil could be lying on the table this person could be happy this person could be ill this person could be hooked so made these cartoons objects may have behavior so this car is just running this baby is just born and just speaking these people are introducing themselves so these are some cartoons to help you understand more about the attributes of objects so using these attributes we can clearly define an object so what are classes so class is a constructor for the object in java so if we make classes and each class can have multiple objects so class can also be defined as a blueprint from which you can create an individual object so let's say you can create a class for car now you can have attributes such as like a color or you can say and the company and but you can make several objects let's say one object is a wagon R and one object is something else let's say an auto so basically you are having multiple cars and they all have these two uh, attributes which are the color and the company and you can assign them different values but the basic attributes are same which are color and company so here's an example public class main so we have create a class called main and it has variable x now we just make our main function so and here we can initialize an object of this class so for creating an object we first write the name of the class so class is main in capital and we write the object name so my object is the name we assign to this object equals to new main so this is the syntax of how to make a new class sorry a new object 
so and then we are simply printing out my object dot x so what is x x we have assigned as a data for this class which and we have assigned it the value 5 so if you run this code we uh, 5 would be printed out because x has value 5 so now i can show you a demo so let's say this is a main class and uh, let's say we can make a new class and like i said about let's say car okay so here class so we can assign it some values so we can say public uh, color uh, public string color is equal to red Daddy, shh. I'm calm. Karo. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So we have made an we made an data type. Sorry, we have made a data called color. This is an attribute of class car, and we have assigned it the value red. Similarly, we can make another. So let's say public string. So car name let's say name and we can say it is a wagon hour okay so this is that and then we can also assign some methods to it so we can assign some method let's say public void um, print name and then we can say uh, s out and we can as print out the name so we have basically written a, a class called car we have assigned it two datas uh, which are color and name these are two attributes of car and the we have assigned it the value red and wagon so i will assign we have assigned fixed value for them for now but we can um, we can just simply assign different values for each different objects of car we don't have to initialize like this then we have a method also within the class itself so here we are and this is a function print name this method and what this method is doing is it is printing the name which in this case is wagoner so now from the main class we can now access that car so to create an object a car we can say car and then we can say car one and then new car and now if we try to print s out car one dot color and now if we try to run this you can see it takes a minute but it should print out red why because we have assigned the color as red here now this is one object and its name is car1 we can create multiple objects like this so we can say car car2 is equal to new car so in this case it would be the same since we have assigned fixed values to these like red and wagner but we can have let's say a new variable let's say public eh, int like age of the vehicle and we can just close it and we can assign it the value yeah, so now we can make a constructor so we'll go more in depth for the constructor in the next class public car you can say int age this dot age is equal to age and this is showing a problem the problem is because we have not assigned values in these you can say 5 we can say 10 so now if what i've done is basically this is a constructor so what it does is while creating our object which is here in the main class we assign it the value 5 so what it does is this variable int age it takes the value as 5 and it assigns th that value to its age right here which is the attribute of that object so uh, by what does this how does this help so now when assign if we have to assign different values we assign different values so car 1 now has age 5 and car 2 now has age 10 so if we try to print them out s out car 1 dot age 
oops and similarly s out card to dot h uh, and now if you try to run it and what we will find is we get 5 and 10 respectively and this sorry respectively so this is because car 1 we assigned the age as 5 car 2 we assigned the age as 10 so similarly we can do it for the color and name also so what's the basic idea so basically we're creating a blueprint which is the class we have assigned it the name car and now we can create various objects of it which are car1 and car2 which follow this blueprint of car which means that each car so each object of this car will have a color will have a name will have an age but these could be different for each separate object similarly it has the method so that is what uh, that is how we use our classes and objects so let's come back to the lecture so that was the a basic demo and that is it for today so if you have any problems you can comment it down and we will answer so hope to see you in the next lecture wish you happy learning goodbye